Hello, Carlos. Hello, teacher. How are you? Fine. Okay. And you? All right, good. How was your day? How was your day? Oh, it was very, very good actually. It was a lot of work, but but very nice, very nice. Okay, nice. How about yours? Uh, my day, it was a little busy, uh, but um, it's normal in my work. <laughs> but, okay, that's fine. That's great. Yeah. That's great. Okay, good. Yeah. Vanessa, Vanessa is here too. Hello, Vanessa. Hi, good night. Hello, good evening. Good evening. How was your day, Vanessa? It's very free. Okay, so not too much work. No, today okay. no. Okay, only study. Lucky yeah. girl. I got to a movie. <laughs> Okay. In the evening. Okay. But in English or in Spanish? Uh, in Spanish. Ah, man. Do it in English. <laughs> okay. Yes, good. I know. Okay. To so practice, to practice the listening. Okay, good. Okay. Hello, Liz. How are you? I'm fine. And you? Okay, great. You look different today. Yeah, because I'm. Um, I'm not in, in, in my job. <laughs> ah, okay. So you had a free day. Yes. <laughs> That's good. You, it's good to relax sometimes. Yes. Okay. I'm in my house. <laughs> okay. That's good. That's nice. Okay. Good. Jorge. Hello. Hello. How are you, Jorge? I'm fine. Very, okay. very fine. Okay. That's good. Ready for another day, another class. Yes, of course. Okay. That's great. Okay, guys, now let's see. Well, little by little, the other ones, the other ones will come. And uh, do you have any questions about the I do too? Okay, they agree or disagree? Either am I. That's what, we're going, what we are going to study today a little bit with the pronunciation, the intonation, and then we're going to have some oral practice, okay? So just let me show you the first objective for today. Okay, here. And then we have the first one here. Um, and Carlos, can you read this objective, please? Okay. In this class, participants will practice pronunciation, noticing stress in response. They will also learn to sound natural when responding with so too. Neither. Ah, neither and neither. <laughs> neither and neither. Okay, good. Okay, so they. It says that we are going to learn to respond <coughs> natural, okay, with so, to, neither, and either, okay? Now let's watch the video and pay attention to the intonation at the end of the answer, right? But first, let me... Let me share the, the sound first now. Okay. Hi, nice to see you again. In this class, we will practice pronunciation, noticing stress in responses. We will learn to sound natural when responding with so, to, neither, and either. Notice how the last word of each response is stressed. I do too. I am too. I can too. So do I. So am I. So can I. I don't either. I'm not either. I can't either. Neither do I. Neither am I. Neither can I. 
I can too. Basic responses. We will learn to sound natural when responding with so, too, neither, and either. Notice how the last word of each response is stressed. I do too. I am too. I can too. Okay. So here we have I do too. I am too. And I can too. So too has the intonation. Okay. Como que pusiéramos tilde, right? I do too. Okay. I am too. And I can too. For example, if I say, um, I, I drive slowly. Carlos? Uh, I do too. I do too. Okay. Jorge? Uh, I do too. I do too. Okay, Liz? I do too. I do too. Okay, good. And who else is here? So we have, okay, William? Uh, I do too. I do too. Ronnie? I do too. I do too. Okay. And uh, Vanessa? I do too. I do too. Good. Okay. And Roxana? I do too. I do too. Okay. Then we're going to have one with I can, right? For example, I can read a book in one week. Okay. I can read a book in one week. Okay, Roxana, I can. I can. Two. I can too. Exactly, right, I can too, very good. Vanessa. I can too. Good, okay, Ronnie. I can too. Very good, William. I can too. I can too, good. I can Carlos. I can too. Yes, Vanessa? I can too. Okay, Jorge? I can too. Excellent. Okay, Liz? I can too. I can too. All right. So then I am too is going to do the same. Okay. Then look at the other one. So do I. So do I. Okay. Uh, let's say I, uh, I like, I like to sing in English. I like to sing in English. Then you can, you can, you're gonna answer, so do I. Okay, Vanessa? So do I. So do I. Okay, George, I like to sing in English. So do I. Okay, so do I. Carlos? So do I. That's correct. Okay, Ronnie? So do I. So do I, okay? Natural, very good. Roxana? So do I. So do I, very good. Liz? So do I. So do I, good. And William? So do I. So do I, okay. Now we're going to practice one with I am, okay? And then they say, so am I. So am I, okay? So am I. Good. So am I. And if we say here, for example, um, I am a, let's say, um, I am a good, I am a, <laughs> so, so am, so am I, Ronnie, so am I. <laughs> okay, I am a good per. I am a good person, okay? I am a good person. Roxana? Roxana? I am a good person. Okay, uh, so am I. Okay, William, I am a so good am person. I. So am I. Good, Ronnie, I am so a good am person. So am I. So am I. Vanessa, I am a good person. So am I. So am I. So Repeat them. I. Huh? Am I. Okay, so, so am, am I. I. Yes, natural. Kevin, I am a good person. Sorry, teacher. I, I, uh, you, just, <laughs> you just came in. Yes. Okay. So I am telling I you understand. sentences. You, uh, I am telling you sentences, and you are going to give me this answer. Okay. For example, 
I am a good person. So, I am. I, so am I. Okay. So am I. Okay. Good. Fine. Now, Jorge Mendoza. So I am, am I. So am I. Gio, I am a good person. So am I. So am I. I. <laughs> oh, no, so am I, okay. I, okay. I suppose, I guess. All right, good. I suppose, good. <laughs> okay, good. Uh, Roxana? Sorry, so am I. So am I, okay, good, excellent. Okay, Moises? It's so am I. So am I. So am I. So am I, so am I. So am I. okay, good. So am I. Good. And Jorge Alberto? Jorge Lemus, I am a good person. Yes, so am I. So am I. Very good. Okay, good. Just pay attention that in all the intonations we have I do too, I am too, I can too, so do I, so am I, so can I. I don't either, say I don't either, I am not either, I can't either, say uh, neither do I, neither am I, and neither can I. Okay, the intonation is in the last word. Okay, that's the one that you have to okay. emphasize. That's the one that you have to emphasize, okay? Good, uh, listen again. I'm either. Notice how the last word of each response is stressed. I do too. I am too. I can too. So do I. So am I. So can I. I don't either. I'm not either. I can't either. Neither do I. Neither am I. Neither can I. Okay, good. Now we're going to to move some to some other requests now in the future. Okay, um, Gio, can you help me reading this? Yes. I'll get to here. Um, in this session, a conversation will be played where a waiter and a customer use modal verbs such as good and will for request. Okay, would and will for request. Okay? Now, let's listen. Hello, everyone. I want you to pay attention to the following conversation. We will now listen to the modal verbs would and will. As always, try to practice the conversation with a friend. Listen and practice. May I take your order? Yes, I'd like the lamb kebabs. All right. And would you like a salad? Yes, I'll have a mixed green salad. Okay. What kind of dressing would you like? We have blue cheese and vinaigrette. Blue cheese, please. And would you like anything to drink? Yes, I'd like a large iced tea, please. Okay. Now listen again. Pay attention to the intonation, right? That's what we are. Hello, everyone. I want you to pay attention to the following conversation. We will now listen to the modal verbs would and will. As always, try to practice the conversation with a friend. Listen and practice. May I take your order? Yes, I'd like the lamb kebabs. All right. And would you like a salad? Yes, I'll have a mixed green salad. Okay. What kind of dressing would you like? We have blue cheese and vinaigrette. Blue cheese, please. And would you like anything to drink? Yes, I'd like a large iced tea, please. Okay, large iced tea, please. Okay, look at this one. May I take your order, right? May I? This is a... Uh, remember when we were using may and can to ask polite questions, right? Polite requests. May I take your order? This sounds more formal. Yes, I like the lamb kebab, right? Uh, all right, 
And would you like a salad? Okay, this is another uh, polite form to ask, do you like? Do you like a salad? Do you like a salad? <coughs> Sounds better if you say, would you like? Okay, uh, yes, I'll have, okay, I'll have a mixed green salad. Okay, what kind of dressing would you like? Okay, would you like? We have a blue cheese, we have blue cheese and vinaigrette. Blue cheese, please. And would you like anything to drink? Yes, I like a large iced tea, please. Okay, any questions about vocabulary? Maybe the second line, the lamb kibble. Okay, Bob. Uh -huh. The lamb kebab. Lamb is uh, the cordero, correct? It's the kind of meat, right? We have pork, pork meat, mm -hmm. cerdo, right? Beef is the res, right? Lamb is cordero, right? Uh, the lamb here in, in America, I think that we don't, we, don't, uh, we don't consume this kind of meat. It's mostly in Europe, Italy, mm -hmm. Switzerland, uh, England. I'm not sure in England, but uh, in, in Italy they do, right? Uh, then kebabs is like the pinchos, right? You know, the cubes mm -hmm. of meat with uh, vegetables, and then you put it in a stew. What else? Only? No more? Okay. If you have no more questions here, this is for you to see this one. And let me show you before we practice. This picture. Okay, do you see the picture? Yes. Yeah. yeah. See the man very happy? <laughs> oh, happy. Okay, here. Right, you see the man playing with the snake? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Let's say, and look at this, it says, Miss, uh, then it says, uh, Miss Fleming. Okay, Miss Fleming is the lady, right? Would you mind dialing 911 for me? Okay. This is sarcasm, right? It's sarcasm. Okay. The businessman is giving an order, asking someone to do something okay, uh, for him, or asking for information. Asking someone to do something. Asking. Asking someone to do something. Exactly, right? If you see, but this is, a, the, the, sarcasm, the sarcasm is because the man here is very, very polite. Okay, mm. very polite. But in a situation of a stress like this, nobody will be so polite. Right? Mm. Okay, but the man says, would you mind, okay? Would you mind dialing? Can you see the gerum? Okay, for example, would you mind lending me money? Would you, would you mind lending me your cell phone? It's the same would you, uh, como, no, um, como te importaría. Exactly, that's the one, like importaría, le molestaría. Would you mind, mm -hmm. uh, would you mind, uh, for example, uh, repeating, this war after me, would you mind uh, getting up early tomorrow? Would you mind giving me a ride? Okay, mm -hmm. so these are examples. Now look at this. And these are words that you can use. Okay, sure answer. Yeah. Would you like to the, wash the dishes quickly, please? Would you mind? <laughs> yes. Would you mind, mind keeping silent, please? Would you mind? Yeah. Would you mind <laughs> keeping silent, please? <laughs> would you mind muting please. your microphone? Okay. <laughs> then you say, Will, will you mail yeah. this for me? 
Can you mail this for me? Would you mail this for me? And could you mail this for me? Four different ways to ask for something, okay, in a educated way, formal, informal, and polite, okay? Now, for example, will you mail? And I'll show you this. Sure. There we have this one. Okay, look at this. Will, can and would and could to ask someone to do something, okay? We often use will and can for informal requests. Okay, will and can. Will you, do, will you do me a favor? Can you do me a favor? Okay, it's informal request. We use would and could to make requests more polite. Okay, would you type this report? Would you send me the report? Okay, could you make 10 copies? Okay, could you make a copy of this for me? Okay, could, could you share, could you share this information in the chat? Okay, would you, uh, would you uh, capture this image and uh, post it in the WhatsApp group? Okay, this is a polite request. Okay, no problem? And if you want to be more polite, then we use, could you please close please. the door? Okay, more emphasis. Could you please, please. do me a favor? Please. Okay, could you please listen to me? Okay, could you close the door, please? This one is more emphatic than this one. Okay, so always remember that it's better, it's better if you use please all the time. Okay. Even in this one, will you please answer the phone? Will you answer the phone, please? Okay. So then, in those cases, you can, uh, you can use right. Please, yeah. in all of them. In that case, it's better uh, the word "please" before close the door, before the verb. When would you, uh, uh, would you please remember that when you say, "Will you please"? Would you please, can you please, will you please, is to emphasize, right? Okay. And then, uh, then you can also put it at the end. Will you answer the phone, please? That sounds, you know, more relaxed, right? More relaxed, yeah. Uh -huh. uh, can you turn down the TV, please? Would you type the report, the, the, this report, please? Could you make 10 copies, please? Right? Something like normal, right? Okay, so then, but it's always good. My recommendation is always use please, okay? Uh, at the end, if it is a formal request, but if you want uh, a emphasis, then you put it, okay? It's okay. always, please is a magic word, okay? Yeah. Please and thank you, remember, please and thank you is always good in any language. People understand yeah. that in Chinese, Italian, whatever. Okay, now going back to this, look at the answers. Would you mail this for me? Yeah, I will. Sure. Sure. Certainly. Yeah. No problem. Certainly. Of course. Certainly. Of course. Certainly. Well, you can say, Certainly. sure, I will. Yeah, I will. Certainly, sure, I will. Certainly. For example, can you do me a favor? Sure, yeah, I can. Well. Sure, I can. Sure, I can. Certainly, I can. Or only certainly. Okay. Uh, can you give me? Can you give me a ride tonight? Sure. Sure. I can. I can. Yes. Certainly, I can. Uh -huh. Or I'm sorry, but I can. I can. Okay. I am in my. I am in my motorcycle. In that, and I don't have an extra helmet. Okay. I am in my bike. <laughs> uh <-huh. laughs> or I am in my bike tonight, right? So then, mm 
and it's only for one person. Okay, good. And then you have, would you mind? This is another one that you can use. Would you mind mailing, right? This is also a polite form. But remember that if you use this one, you're going to use the very in a, uh -huh, yes okay remember that when you manipulate when you manipulate all these structures these forms in a job interview what you show is that you have a good level of english right then you show the person that you have you know academic english too right and they say would you mind that sounds very polite no, it's not the same when you say, uh, can you, right? Can you do me a favor? Say, would you mind doing me a favor? Okay, would you mind lending me? Would you mind bringing me a glass of water? All right? Okay, okay. questions in this moment? Okay, this is another one that you can use. For example, okay, be careful with this one. Uh, would you mind mailing this for me? They say, no, not at all. Okay, no, not at all means yes. Okay, be careful. Suppose, would you mind lending me your car? Not at all. No, not at all. Okay, take it. No problem. Uh -huh. No, not at all. No, not at all. It's yours. It's yours. Take it. Okay, I, I'd, I'd be glad to. I'd be happy to. I'd be glad. Yes, this is you know, for example, like me encanta, me, eh, encantado, right? Would you mind mailing this for me? Yes, I'd be glad to, right? Yeah, encantado de that. So that would be like interpretation, right? And remember that sometimes it's also polite when you can't. Because sometimes, sometimes you have to say no, right? Sometimes it's not possible to help. Then you can say, I'm sorry, but, but, I, can't. but I can't. Okay? You don't have to give a big, a big explanation, right? Just, I'm sorry, but I can't. Or, I'm sorry, but uh, I don't have time. Okay? For example, no, I'm uh, sorry. I don't want. <laughs> I don't want. <laughs> that will be that will be rude. That will be rude, right? Yeah. I mean, it's I possible. Want, you are a bad person. Uh -huh. It's correct. <laughs> it's correct, but it's rude. Okay. You can say I'm sorry, but I don't want to. Okay. I mean, if you are taking a pos a position, suppose you're in your job, your boss says, okay, look, uh. Next month, you're going to work seven days a week and no more money. <laughs> okay, they say, well, I'm really sorry, but I can't work like that. Why? Well, because I don't want to. I have a family. Okay? <laughs> then in that moment, you can, you can use yeah. it. You, can. you are not being probably, you're being a little bit rude, okay? But you are taking a, taking a stand, okay? So it's possible but try okay. not to use it. <laughs> okay. Let me see what else can we explain from here? I guess this is it, right? Now let's go back to the... to the conversation and so that you can practice. Okay, wait a minute. This bit. Okay, you have this conversation, right? Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna play it again just for you to listen to the intonation, and then we practice the conversation with a friend. Listen and practice. May I take your order? Yes, I'd like the lamb kebabs. All right. And would you like a salad? Yes, I'll have a mixed green salad. Okay. What kind of dressing would you like? We have blue cheese and vinaigrette. Blue cheese. And would you like anything to drink? 
Yes, I'd like a large iced tea, please. Okay. Now we're going to create a group. We are 14, so we have seven. Okay, now don't forget to click and join, right? Okay. Okay. Here you go. I think there will be a group of three. Rocío. Hello, Rocío. Rocío, are you there? Hello, Rocío. Rocío, can you hear me? Hello. Hello, Rocio. Can you hear me? Hello, Jorge. Hello. Hello, hello. I will send you to another group because I think Rocio is there, but I think he's there, but she doesn't answer. Okay. Okay, don't worry. I will send you to another another group. That's fine. Okay, George. Okay, keep on practicing. Use would you use the other the other expressions that you have, right? Will you, oh. would you would you if you don't if you finish the uh, the practice with the dialogue, you can ask uh, other things, right? For example, Roxana, will you uh, will you uh, lend me your your book? Okay, uh, could you lend me your your computer to study. Okay, use words using can, would, uh, will, okay, so that you can okay. practice more. Would you mind? Okay, practice that. No problem. Okay. Okay, good. Okay. Okay. Uh, Roxana, uh, would you like practice uh, anything on the board? Or, and what do you say, teacher? Algum. Some. Okay. Or any. So a question, any. Any. Okay. Uh -huh. okay. Would you like and uh, practice any sport? Uh -huh. Okay. All right. Yeah. I quickly. That's fine. <laughs> <laughs> Teacher, okay. I have a question. Okay. George will answer. No problem. 
Your... Uh, what's, what's the meaning dressing? Oh, dressing. What kind dressing. of... Okay, mm -hmm. dressing is when you have a salad, yes? Uh -huh. Then uh, uh -huh. the vinagr you put the vinaigrette on top of the salad. Uh -huh. Or, for example, when, or when you have uh, french fries, uh -huh. yes? Then okay. what do you put on the french fries? Uh, ketchup. Ketchup, uh, right? Tomato sauce. Uh -huh, the tomato sauce. That's dressing. Ah, okay. Como ah. colocarle. No, uh, the name of uh, the name of what you put. Poner. No, but what? What, no do, you, what do you put? For example, when you go to the uh, when when you mix the ketchup with the mayonnaise, uh -huh. you have uh -huh. uh, you have a dress a pink dressing. Aderezo. Exactly, Aderezo. that's correct. Ah. There you go. Okay, very good. Okay. Okay, you know George George is a, is a chef, that's why you know him. <laughs> and the pronunciation about the vinaigrette? Vinaigrette. Uh -huh. Vinaigrette. Vinaigrette. V. V. Vinaigrette. V. Vinaigrette. Uh -huh. Vinaigrette. Vinaigrette. Okay. Okay. Well now continue Thank practicing you. practicing with will you, could you, can you, would you mind, Eileen? Okay. Just any any uh, idea that you have right to practice the words oh. okay okay good okay uh, george and michael may i take your order yes i like the chicken all right and will you like a, a salad Yes, I have um, only uh, tomato salad. Okay, what kind of dressing would you like? We have a barbecue or um, and I don't know vinaigrette. Uh, barbecue, please. And would you like anything to drink? Yes, I like I like soda, please. Okay. <laughs> okay, very good. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm here. I'm here. I'm listening. Okay. Good job. Good job. Okay. okay. <laughs> May I take your order? Uh, no thanks. I'm going to. <laughs> I'm, on a, <laughs> I, I'm on a diet. I'm gonna die. Okay. Ah, okay. <laughs> no, no, so it's sad, not teacher. It's not true. It's not true. Okay. All right. Great. Now practice. only fruit. Only uh, no. I, <laughs> I, I I die if I eat only fruit, <laughs> like a little like a little bird. <laughs> no. Okay. All right. Now you uh, ask questions using. Would you, for example, Marcela, will you lend me your computer tomorrow? And then you say, oh, sure, no problem, okay? Uh, could you lend me your computer tomorrow? Would you mind lending me, okay? Practice the other forms to uh, ask okay. my request and invent the verbs, okay? okay? Okay. Good, thank you. Thank you, teacher. All right. Sandwich spread. Welcome, teacher. Hello, <laughs> how are you? What's up, teacher? Hi. How's everything? Very good. All right. Yeah, Thanks. funny. <laughs> funny, yeah. Okay, yeah. now keep continue practicing. If you already finished with the conversation, but now use, uh, for example, uh, questions like, can you, would you, uh, will you, would you mind, for example, uh, would you mind, uh, for example, would you mind helping me, uh, let's say, would you mind helping me with my homework tomorrow? Uh, Gio, will you uh, will you send me your notes, uh, please? Okay, and then you say yes, sure, no problem, of course. Okay, invent the verb and practice the other forms to make requests. Okay. 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 Go ahead. Mm -hmm. Let me see. Yeah. Yes, here. Okay. All right. Okay, we practice this. Okay. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> may I take your order? 
<laughs> Sorry. Okay, did you practice the conversation? Yes? Yes. yes. Okay, then now ask like a question, invent questions using will you, could you, uh, can you, right? For example, uh, let's say, uh, for example, Shimara, would you mind lending me your computer tomorrow? And then she will say, ah, oh, sure, no problem. Yes, of course. Uh, sure I can or uh, sorry but I need it sorry but I have a presentation tomorrow okay so you can give mm -hmm. other different answers okay practice okay. With, with with your own vocabulary okay got it okay okay, okay. go ahead practice thank you okay, okay. thank you teacher all right I, I, este, uh, Sería como, sure, I, yes. uh -huh. would you like a, take your order? Yes, I like the, uh, ¿cómo se dice porción? A uh, order, a taco a, a order, a one, a one taco, uh -huh. a one taco uh, order. <laughs> I want to go. All right. And would you like um, anything more? We just order it back. Mm, I like uh, Al Pastor. <laughs> <laughs> I guess. Okay. Uh -huh. And what kind of dressing would you like? Chipotle. <laughs> Chipotle. Yeah. Chipotle dressing. Man. Okay. Ah, yeah. I like a, a green a green salad and and red salad. Oh. <laughs> it's a mix. You say uh, salts, salts, green salt. Oh. Uh -huh. Green salt. And salt and, and red salt. Red salt. Both yeah. them. Both them. Both. Of All them. right. All right. And mm -hmm. um, would you like anything to drink? Yes, I like a glass of horchata. Please. Uh, <laughs> very, yes, cold, uh, very cold, very cold, very cold, and very large, <laughs> and very uh, and extra large, right? Extra large, okay. jumbo, <laughs> the jumbo one. Is there, yes, William. Is there, the, um, we have a question. Mm -hmm. What's from? Como, como se pronuncia by, by, vinagre to vinagre, uh -huh. vinagre, vinagre, uh -huh. vinagre, vinagre. Uh -huh. vinagre. No. Okay. Y lamb, lamb kebabs, así, lamb kebabs. Lamb kebabs. Lamb kebabs. Kebab. Uh, kebab. uh -huh. Lamb kebabs. Nosotros la pasamos oh. a cupusas, pero. Una... <laughs> sí, yes. sí. A little conversion. Very good. Yeah. 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 You just say uh, some pinchos, right? Uh, then... Yeah. Uh -huh. Lamb okay. kebabs. Okay, very good. Now we're going to go back to the classroom, okay? Thank you. Okay. Okay, thank you, teacher. Okay, now here there is another explanation only for would and will, okay? Now, uh, okay. Ronnie, can you please read this objective here? Okay. In this session, the use of the modal verbs good and will for request will be thought. 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 Okay. Please take notes on wood and will. Try to understand how they are being used. After the explanation, we have some questions for you. Please answer them. Discussion of here. We share wood and will to request. What would you like? You can. 
You can hear? Yes. Yes? Yes. yes. All right. I'd like the lamb kebabs. I'll have a small salad. What kind of dressing would you like? I'd like the cheese, please. I'll have vinaigrette. What would you like to drink? I'd like an iced tea. I'll have coffee. Would you like anything else? Yes, please. I'd like some water. No, thank you. That'll be all. Teacher. Yes. What's the meaning dressing in this question? What's that? Dressing. Oh, dressing. Dressing here. Uh -huh. What kind of dressing? dressing? Uh, the aderezo, right? Ah, uh, okay. Okay, that's the dressing. Aderezo. They say, I like blue cheese. Have you seen when you go to the supermarket, yeah, there is a bottle that says blue cheese. Mm -hmm. yeah. Or the other one that says... Uh, ranch. <laughs> ranch, exactly. Ranch. Exactly. Chipotle. Chipotle. And they I, have... I have uh, so I'll have the different. Uh huh. What's the difference uh, between I like and I have? Uh, one is more polite to another. Uh, yes, yes. Uh, for example, I would like me gustaría, right? And I'll have a uh, uh, voy, voy a pedir something like that, la vinagreta, yeah. right? I'll have. Okay. Or comeré de la vinagreta, but something like that. So this one sounds more polite, right? I like okay. and I'll have. Okay? okay. Good. Thank you. And then uh, you have here, for example, what would you like? I like the lamb kebabs. Just look at the answers, right? I'll have, I'd like. I like, I'll have. I like, I have. And here, would you like anything else? Yes, please. Okay? And then it says, because it's a yes, no question. Mm -hmm. Okay, would you like anything else? Yes, please. Then what? I like some water. Or, no, thank you. That'll be all. That's just all. That'll be all. Right? That'll be all. That'll be all. That'll be all. Exactly. That'll be all. No, thank you. Or you. Uh -huh. you can say, no, thank you. That's okay. Uh, no, thank you. That's no. okay. Yeah, you can say that, right? No, oh, thank you. That's okay. Okay, fine. Now continue. Contractions. I'll equals I'll. I will. Will. I equals I would. We presented would and will in a conversation and then in the previous chart. But now let's work on that. Using would to make requests. What is used when we make requests in English? It is a more polite way to make a request to someone, especially when you're not familiar with. We can use would directly at the beginning of the question. Would plus subject plus like plus infinitive verb plus complement plus question mark. Example, would you like to drink tea? Or use it with a wh question word wait a minute a verb plus complement okay look would plus subject right you, you. like so would you like infinitive to, to drink, drink. complement and then you can paraphrase you know paraphrase paraphrase paraphrasear right only would you like to eat to eat beef? Would you like to uh, fly a plane? Would you like to uh, run in the morning? And then you substitute the infinitive and then complement. Complement. Okay. Would you like to uh -huh. go to Chile? Uh -huh. Would you like to go to Chile? Would you like to go to Argentina? Okay, would you like to have a new job? Okay, would you like to have a would you like to have a good job? Would you like to get a raise? More money. Okay. <laughs> yes, huh? Okay, now continue. Plus question mark. Example. Would you like to drink tea? 
or we can use it with a WH question word. WH question word plus word plus subject plus like plus infinitive verb plus complement. Okay, here we have something similar, right? WH question word, what? Would, subject, you, that could be he, she, it, or any other, we, like, infinitive verb, to eat, for and a complement for dessert. Why would you like to eat for dessert? Okay, what would you like, what would you like to learn tomorrow? What would you like to do this weekend? What would you like to watch on TV tonight? Okay, what would you like to do after this class? Okay, so you see, then you can change the infinitive form and the complement. Okay. Okay. Question. Teacher, would you, would you say an example with a third person? Uh, for example, uh, suppose uh, we have uh, Francisco, right? Francisco, it says, uh, what will Francisco like to eat for his birthday? What will Francisco, what would he like to eat for his birthday? Okay. The verb, no, the... With, without the is. Exactly. Uh -huh. okay, okay, what would? Because remember that we have here? Huh? Auxiliary. Yeah. And this auxiliary is the? Auxiliary. Remember this? Are? Model verbs. Model verbs, okay? That's Model, correct, right? Model verbs. Exactly, mm -hmm. right? Very good. Okay. Next. Thank you, teacher. Okay. What would you like to eat for dessert? Also, in this opportunity, we're using words to answer questions. What would you like to drink? I would like a soft drink. Or, I'd like a soft drink. Okay, the long form and the contracted form. I would like a soft drink. I'd, I like a soft I'd, drink. I like a soft drink. Did you notice the position of word in the answer? That's right. It goes exactly after the subject. How to answer using word? Subject plus word plus like plus complement. Now let's pretend we're in a restaurant and you are the waiter. This is my response. I want you to think on the question. I like apple pie. What would be the question? What would you like to eat? Uh -huh. What would you like to eat? I like apple pie. What would you like to eat? I like apple pie. I like coffee. And? I like coffee. What would you like to drink? What would, what would you, you like to drink? What would you like to drink? Correct. Okay, very good. Excellent. Now it's my turn to ask you. Please respond using words. What would you like to eat? Okay. What would you like to eat? I like a hamburger. I like to eat I like to eat some uh, I like to eat guaraches. I like to eat Look at this one. I like to eat. Listen to the other question. What would you like to have? Ice cream or chocolate cake? Okay, here you have an option. I would like an ice cream. Okay, here you have an option. What would you like to have? Ice cream or chocolate cake? Chocolate cake. I like an ice cream. Okay. I like ice cream. Can I make both of them? <laughs> For example, you can change. Uh, which one is, what do you say, Ron? Like can, can I eat both of them? Yeah, uh-huh. Well, they say, <laughs> they say, can I have, can I have both of them? Both of them? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, can I have both? Uh -huh. Yes, can I have both mm. of them? Sounds better, right? Both of them. Uh -huh, okay. No, no problem. Okay. Sure, okay. no problem. You pay. We're learning. <laughs> <laughs> hey, yes, I like that. Yes, you're learning. Yes, yes. you invent me. Invent yeah. me. <laughs> yes, 
You see, it's good. It's good when you produce your own English. Okay, I like that. It's mm -hmm. good. Okay, don't <laughs> don't follow only the the the, the rules. examples. I uh -huh, the the books or whatever. The rules. I uh -huh, the rules here. Okay, use your English, mm -hmm. too, right? Produce your own English. Okay, excellent. Okay. Now, that's it. Questions in this moment? No. Okay. Then uh, we have the knowledge check for knowledge check. the knowledge check here says instructions. Read the following conversation, choose between choose the between options the given. given. Okay, this is what we have been practicing, right? Now, right. for example, what will you like to order or what would you like to order? Okay? Well, yeah. So you just have to choose one. Okay. Then remember they said read the following conversation, choosing between two options given. Remember that this is in a restaurant, you have the waiter has to be polite. Which one is polite? Is polite. Woo. 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 Okay. Woo. Customer. Uh have the chi uh, fried chicken. I I okay. Uh, here you can use for me you could use both, but also remember uh, that you can use I'll have when I'll we have. when we decide. Um in the moment okay when it's a, a decision a decision that you take in the moment it's more proper to say i'll have usually when you, if i go to for example to a restaurant and i don't know what to eat and then they give you the the menu right and then when you read the menu said uh okay uh, sir are you ready to order what would you like to order and they said, mm, I will. I'll have the, I'll have, I'll have the fish. I'll have fish. Yeah. I'll have when chicken. You, when you decided, yeah. In this moment, yes. it's better to say this, right? That when I you know. decide in the moment. I'll have. I'll have. Okay, okay these are the options. A waiter, then with or would, like rice or potatoes. Right? Remember, remember always, waiter or to like. Juice. Polite, polite. Right. Yeah. customer also respond in a polite way, right? You see, I please, would, would, I would like, would like so you have what kind of potatoes would you mash? Right? Mm -hmm. Listen, like the puree, right? Mash, like? mm -hmm. Baked, okay. this is what they French. serve with aluminium paper, Fray, uh, French. French fries. 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 French uh huh. Will, will, will that be will, all for now? Will, will that be all for now? Yes. And remember that if uh, that sometimes if you try, then you can have the other option, right? Okay. And then we have for tomorrow. We have some listening, and we're gonna have a little review uh, for the test that you have to do because so the next one I think is the test we have a listening exercise and after yes okay then you're, then you're gonna have the midterm test okay so then uh take a look at this exam take a look at the exam tomorrow and see if you need more information Okay, uh, for the review, I can help you tomorrow with this. Okay, if you have questions, see for example the, the questions that you can have, right? Okay. All right. Bye. Okay. okay, so have a great night, people. I will see you tomorrow at the same time. Okay, enjoy, you enjoy your sleep. Okay, have a good night. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Good night. Good night. Good night.